consider the point P, and P is the coordinate negative 10, 14 on the Cartesian plane. If the point is used to make a right angled triangle with the x axis and theta is the interior observed angle at point 0, 0, find blah 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 blah. Okay, so let's first draw it and see if we can figure it out. First of all, we plot our point at negative 10 and 14. So we have our point there. They say that this point is used to make a triangle, a right triangle with the x axis. So in other words, we go down to the x-axis to make our 90 degree angle there and then we connect it with the origin. Okay, there we go. That's our triangle. And, okay, not too bad. That is our theta. Okay, now in this triangle, we see that that is going to be 14. Our opposite is 14 and we read it off as kind of the height of that triangle and the width of that triangle from 0 to negative 10 is negative 10. We use negative 10 because we are in the second quadrant as well so it has to be negative. Now what about the hypotenuse R? Okay. R, the hypotenuse can be calculated because R is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Now x is equal to 10 squared plus y is equal to actually negative 10 squared. y is equal to 14 squared and that must all go into square root. 10 squared is 100. 14 squared is 196. That means I get 296 underneath the square root. Okay, please know it's not equal to 10 or oh, actually minus 10 or whatever you want to say 10 plus 14 okay you can't just cancel those square roots over the plus you have to first simplify the interior before you can do the square root so the square root of 296 okay 296 we can write as 4 times 74 okay and square root of 4 is 2, square root of 74 is unknown, okay, well, it's not unknown, I just don't know it, okay, we all need a calculator, but they tell me to leave my answer in simplified third form, so I, I want that answer. So the first thing I'm going to do is sine of theta, that's the first question, now, don't be intimidated, sine of theta is really simple now, this and that doesn't seem to have any correlation when you just read it. But once you actually just draw the triangle and you say, what man, sine of theta is simply y over r. Sine your rear. Okay, where y is 14 and we just calculated r as the square root of, uh, sorry, 2 times the square root of 74. And then we simplify and we get a simple answer of 7 over square root of 74. Okay, next question, cos squared. Okay, cos squared theta. No more difficult, really not. Cos squared theta simply means cos theta is being squared. So in other words, it's x over r. Okay, sign your rear, cos x raise. Okay, x over r is going to be squared where x is equal to negative 10 and r is equal to 2 times the square root of 74. Okay, and we're going to square it and it's not really difficult. Okay, uh, let's first simplify that becomes 5 so we get negative 5 over 74 and that must be squared negative 5 times negative 5 is 25 so it's a positive number now uh, sorry that's not 74 that's square root of 74 over square root of 74 squared is just 74 there we go next question next question we have this long one okay that is cos of theta okay which we just had here that's the negative 10 or actually 5 over square root 74 divided by tan of theta. We haven't done tan of theta yet. Okay, tan of theta uh, minus sine of theta. Okay, let's see if we 
if we substitute what do we get okay cos of theta we have as x over r that means it's uh, negative 10 over 2 times square root of 74 okay tan tan is um, tan your rear uh, sorry your exterior y over x okay so tan is y over x y being 14 yes 14 x being negative 10 and then finally sine we calculated that one in the first one that one was when we simplified was 7 over square root of 74 7 over the square root of 74 let's not use a calculator here let's try go without one okay so we dividing a fraction with a fraction so we tip in times that's what we say we tip in times so the bot the top one negative 10 over square root uh, 2 times square root that one simplifies to negative 5 over the square root of 74 okay the bottom one we tip in time so multiply with negative 10 over 14 okay and minus and on this side we have negative 7 over square root of 74 okay let's continue here what do we get a negative 5 times negative 10 gives me positive 50 14 times the square root of 74 is 14 square root 74 okay minus 7 over the square root of 74 now I would like to add these two fractions which means I need common denominators so I need to multiply this one with 14 to have the same denominator and then the top 7 must also be multiplied with 14 what do we get 7 times 14 what's well, probably like 98 yeah okay 98 and now when I simplify 50 minus 98 is negative 48 okay divided by uh, 14 square root 74 we can simplify a little bit more what do we get mm, 4 no 2 can go into there and into there 24 times so we get negative 24 no, that should be 7 negative 24 over 7 square root of 74 okay so I rushed through this but come on it wasn't really difficult until I suppose we got to the fractions and that's usually where you freak out um, but up to this point it really wasn't difficult it was simplifying and most calculators can do this question for you well enough um, but try and do it without using the calculator because at some point we're starting to use variables in here and then the calculator is useless okay so this is the answer okay ugly answer I agree with you okay it's not a pretty answer it's not like two um, but that is indeed what you get if you were to calculate this angle okay that angle and you were to substitute it in here you would actually get that answer cool uh, that's me for now see you in the next video